I just woke up 20 minutes ago and I have email after email after DM after message after message after telegraph after fucking bird messenger aim fucking ICQ. So the pre-order for the flag shirts was supposed to stay up until 8 a.m. Yesterday me and Ern, I talked to him, it, it sold out, you know, in the middle of the day and I had like been like, yo, what are you doing? Like set the stock to unlimited. It's a pre-order till 8 a.m. Ern didn't do that. Ern for some reason just started adding numbers of stock into it and I guess he thought he was going to be able to keep up with it all night and forgot that he has to sleep. So he went to sleep. All of the pre-orders sold out. So anyone that was going to have to get it after midnight between now and 8 a.m. Couldn't get it. So after trying to restrain my uh, mood, I don't know what you'd call it. I'm trying not to be a dick. I'm trying, I try not to yell or like get upset. Long story short, Ern feels bad. He'll be here soon. I'm trying my best not to be a dick and the pre-order is back up. Available to buy, you can still get it. Don't know what time we'll take it down today, but it'll be up all day today. And then we will get the shit finished and get the shit shipped out by Thursday. So, uh, that's how my morning started. I'm very warm. You're very warm. Serum is still all crazy. You go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go. Very good. Allergies, sir. I'm not grass. Yeah, it's fucking hot, boy. Oh, here he is. Man of the hour. That whole car thing comes back to get you. Huh? Let's see. <laughs> hey, buddy. Listen, it was my fault. I know. I was admitting it, and you <laughs> wanted me to say, "Can't you ever in your life not have an excuse?" I have zero excuse. It's and true. You did not give me an excuse. And, and, I, I, and I'm not mad. I'm and, baffled. I told you. I'm just bad. And I don't even mind you yelling though in this kind of situation. Oh, okay. When I'm like, I don't want you yelling. I just meant you for a while were pretty upset. It's a different vibe now. I understand you're gonna get mad when I do something that's just there's no explanation for. Okay. I still think baffled. through my. Head why I did it. I think, I, I don't know, dude. I, honestly, I'm just baffled. Like I told you, I could have taken a shit this morning and a Rubik's Cube could have fell out of my ass and I'd have been less surprised. I brought this. I know. I was gonna say, maybe we shouldn't start your day with a king size extra joint. When he... No, I got it. I and got it's it. funny because yesterday I had to cut the part out of the vlog. 15? I'm like, why would you set the pre order to 15? And you're like, no, not that. I don't know. And then you go into the back room and you come back and I think everything's fine. I wake up to messages. All right. I did too. And the irony is, like, last night, 10 30 11 i was like let me just make sure that we're still good and then i uh what the fuck is this? <coughs> i don't know i'm getting fucking messages here <laughs> but, all right we're good okay do you have a lighter probably your house actually wait a minute wait i'm gonna bring you a few because <laughs> they're all mine in my car hold on hold on this should be good hey, wait, damn you threw earn under the bus Oh yeah, how many lighters are there? I literally woke up this morning, I'm laying in bed. I'm in like a peaceful state, mentally releasing the stress from my mind, trying to visualize stress leaving my body like a fucking river, like a river that flows out of me. Like just peaceful, just straight up. It's nice, my dog is cuddling me, like kisses me. I wake up, this is awesome. I open my phone, ladies adoring me. I click another button, it's like, happy you guys sold out. Hey, I thought I was a pre-order, sold out. Hey, why is it sold out? Hey, it's sold out, it's only 12 bucks. I sold out, I'm like, what? Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna yell. I'm literally walking upstairs like, I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna yell. Then I yelled. That wasn't bad though. Oh, thanks. Omar, here you go, buddy. You want 100 bucks? Yeah. Come here. Come here, buddy. You deserve it. Hey, dog. Yeah. Get that money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going with it? Twitch someone was like, Jamie threw right under the bus with that tweet. I quoted that tweet. He's like, sorry. I don't really lie about what's going on. I'm not hiding shit. Yeah, that's one, of, one of these girls called my phone. Oh, speaker. Yeah. Right, just to let you know, this call will be recorded for yeah. quality assurance. I'm gonna record everything I do from now on, 24 hours a day. You should. I mean, I'm gonna get a live Twitch cam for when Omar's sleeping, just point it at him. This is gonna create revenue while I sleep. When's the last time your dog went to work for you? So I'm saying, I'm trying to get you a job, huh? Trying to make you Twitch famous, dude. Uh, there's an ashtray right there, homie. Is that an ashtray? It does have a joint in there, so. Let's go, it has sand. All right. There's a joint. Oh, on outside. it. I thought you said in it. I was like, also, I don't know if it's on your interest in doing the vlog, but I think we could find a lot of weird people and do some fun shit. Warp tour is here Sunday. We got invited. I'm going to do it so we can record yeah. it. Um, I need to get, I think I'm going to get acupuncture done. Today? Like, or just job. in general? I think I just have TMJ like crazy. I keep... And honestly, where'd this happen? I can't remember. 
Because if it's in New Jersey, New York, half those places you see people sell the water on the street, dude, that shit's not to make extra money. That shit is like to live. Yeah, well, I mean, this like, girl was doing it just her mom like lost, lost her job. And this saying. girl was like selling money or selling water to get, she wanted to like get a trip to Disney World or whatever. Well, I'm trying to see where it was, I don't know. What a great life lesson. You can raise your own money to go to fucking Disney. Of course, once the shit went viral, somebody just bought them tickets. It's crazy that people are going to be having such bad days. That, that like, I really think that's what it, what it is, and it culminates, too. It's like that's bad days really turn, what it is, or, dude. Bad days turn into bad months. Bad months turn into bad years. Bad years turn into a bad Dude, life. I was thinking about it yesterday. I saw a dude pull up behind me fucking flying. He just waiting behind me to get by. I couldn't get over. I'm like, all right, dude, chill. Like, yeah, I'm going to get like, over. What the flies by, flies by. And you can just literally he looked at me when he passed with madness in his face. Just thinking like, this dude's life right now. He must just be like, fucking gotta get here. I hate this. I hate... Like, I mean, I've been in that. You know, I've been mad where I'm driving. Like, I, sure. it's not... God, when you see it and then you try and think of these other people's lives, you're just like, Fuck, Well, it's wait. double edge, too. It's like if someone's, behind, if, like, someone's behind you and they're honking. And so it's like, all right, you have the decision, too. You can be like, let me just get out of this dude. And that's what I did. Yeah, but I just like... Couldn't... So you, it can be handled. Or you can ways. fuck with them. Or you can fuck with them, right? So or you can jam your brakes, yeah, which like, I've done, too. A lot of us do that shit where we're like, you're not going anywhere. But I've definitely been behind yeah. cars before. But I had, like, something happening. And I'm like, yeah. fuck. And Sometimes it's been poor planning, but sometimes, mm -hmm. like, dude, one time I had a car that couldn't stop. Like, if it stopped, it would turn off. Oh, yeah. Right? So, like, I had to keep it going, and I, yeah, I had to do this you every to day. Stop fucking broke. Like, yeah, like, so I'm, like, having to do this every day where I'm trying my fucking best to, like, not stop. It's like a fucking hard-ass video game. Yeah. Like, I'm trying, I gotta drive 20 minutes to work and not stop. So I'm, like, timing yeah. lights and shit, and you start being angry. People have no idea what you're going through over there. Like, don't you dare fucking stop at that yellow light, motherfucker. And they stop at the yellow light, and I'm like, God damn yeah. it! So we have this outside, we could just come here and work out. Yeah, for my ten thousand dollars. Five. What are you talking about? I'm charging you fucking sixty dollars a month, so I'll make my money back another <laughs> time. Fucking Ted's gym out there. I'll make I'll have a clothing line, it'll be Ted's gym. It'll be our bodybuilder line, bro. We'll do some fucking cut off shirts. Some tank tops to drop down to your belly button, some deep V's. I like the deep V's. We'll do some oh it's Teddy deep V's. No, every Ted's day. gym. Ted's gym. <laughs> Hey Hector, how are you doing? Is there somebody in marketing I could speak to? Uh, my name is Ernest. I'm calling from Oh It's Teddy TV. Oh It's Teddy TV. Oh It's Teddy TV. What's up, big man? All these are fucking long sleeves. Oh, they're good. This reminds me of vacation. This room? Like the little, yeah, like the little basement kind of. Yeah. Cape Cod, you know, under all the cottages, they had basements, and like the kids would always have bunk beds and stay in them, and there was yeah. always like a shit ton of clothes and containers and There's bunk beds. There's definitely a vibe down here. Exactly. I like sleeping down here. Yeah, I would. Well, and in your room, there's zero windows. Well, you still get light from upstairs, and then if you leave the bathroom door open, there's also light there. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there's the room. <sighs> Wear that to the dispensary, dog. You think they would get mad if I wore this to the... No. It's too hot. I'm not wearing it. It was hot wearing the shit at your wedding, bro. Can't even imagine what the fuck it would be like. Oh. I might cop that off you recently. This was used in a wedding. Yeah. Just so you're My aware. wedding. Yeah, I know. Worth a lot of money. Well, see, I just want to flex it at, like, my shitty pool at my apartment complex. I just want to walk her out of my bathing suit in the Versace hey, robe. Why did I do this in the winter? I should have fucking worn this. It was a winter scarf. Oh, dude, yes, yeah, snowboarding with them. Scarf. Bro, this is insanity. What do you, yo, are you just looking for a shirt? Yeah, just one that's not long sleeve. Oh, I have an American flag one for you, not with me. We could stop. It's not as cool out here today as it was yesterday. I don't like it. Mm, cool to breeze, bud. Did I forget my fucking phone? God damn it. I need it, jeez. How do I do that? Oh, I'm sitting on it. Jeez. Banana Banana Banana. What was that moment? <laughs> you don't know it. Banana No, it's where they did the Capoeira and the fighting. And, <laughs> I what can't, the honestly fuck can't remember the name of the movie. I just know it played on HBO for like five summers every day. You know, some of the worst action movies. Like Careful. American Ninja. You ever see those? I was so into ninjas as a kid that I would go to like where they would rent the videos and just be like, 
anything ninja related. Oh, hell, all of us, dude. Karate was so huge. You don't yeah. talk about hype. I was a karate master, for sure. I was in karate over and over and over. You know what's a weird childhood experience I had? For this, I was probably like eight or nine. Is I the just, story about to get weird? A little, not too weird. Not like, not like really weird. He would like stand up and addle and let these kids come at him and then like push him and throw him back on the ground. Are you at Rex Kwando or what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you know what Rex Kwando is from? No. Napoleon Dynamite? No, wait. <laughs> this stuck in my head. I remember him telling the kid, you have to try and just break through. Aim for the nose. Hit him right in the nose so his boogers splatter everywhere. There's something weird about this karate class. Well, that was traditional karate that you were taking. <laughs> we should do that for a troll and as a social experiment. <laughs> what is we our could social open a, a dojo? A dojo without any no, trophies. We'll put a trophy that. outside. Our logo will just be an enormous <laughs> trophy. Like, yeah, the size of how they have like the dude on the horse over here. Big gold karate trophy. That's art, bro. I want that in my mansion. I want an enormous fucking karate first place trophy, but fucking enormous. Huge. Like bigger, like the size of 10 men, at least, if not 20. In the middle of the fucking four like, like that Ugh. kick. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the extended fucking leg kick. I need it. It's art. All right. We are in the art store. Picture's still here? It's probably sold. Someone bought it. I want a commission. It's gone. Fucking Joe, look at this fucking bitch ass. I can't get around him either. There's too much of a line at the light. This is... Look at this fucking this guy. This karma is what this is. <laughs> look at him. He's just cruising. He's looking to the left, looking to the right. Yeah, I don't know. Because he works at the scooter store that you want to rent from. No. Hit him. Scrody ass. <laughs> fucking give him a little love tap, him. bro. Hey, sorry, love tap. Look at him. He's just a little... He can't keep... It. Look at him. I'm revving it. Come on. <laughs> look at him. He's like, hey, ladies. <laughs> Why don't you turn your signal on so the people behind you know you're trying to get over? They don't care. They're laughing at me. No, he's not letting me. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna edge in. Here, I'm gonna get him through the window. No! no! He's, ah! he's cutting me off! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> he something out of him. That was amazing. I didn't want to scare him off his bike. Uh, it looks good. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. float. Get Get from Feels good. I'm yeah. slaying my feet. As soon as I walk here, you're so stubborn. So fucking stubborn. Don't drink that one. Let's pull one. That cool rock. It's hot out, boy. You, I'm not playing right now, dude. It is way too hot. You can have knock yourself out. I'm not going out there. We went to the art store. I got a ton. Well, not a ton, but I got more paint. Um, I got a lot of stuff. I got I got borders to paint on, more spray paint, stuff like that. Uh, we got weed. Shout out Natty Rims. Always the weed. The monetization product. And then I have this big yellow board I painted this forever ago. Y'all remember that? What I want to paint on it, I knew that shit the other day. It is somewhere it's fairly self-explanatory i think for the love or the money type motif uh shoes that are coming out that i'm excited for actually i'm gonna get the butters because i do just like the v2 the ronnie feig soccer adidas drop i don't know about the clothes there's a couple of things that i like the idea of but i can't tell the shorts just look like short shorts to me a little bit so i'm hoping that they're not Probably end up copping something. It's not the strongest Kith Adidas collab drop in my opinion, but it's very classic. I get the vibe they're going for. Very USA classic soccer football. The shoes, of course. Uh, Copas are not for me. That, that's not happening. The Ace 16 plus is a definite for me. Um, I love that shoe. Everybody, everybody knows. Sock collars love. That's pretty much all I'm really looking forward to right now. I can think of. I like that parlay. Laceless. I think I'm a cop. The color. That's an SNS. That's a special project as well with SNS, but it's not an exclusive. I'm gonna try and paint maybe the rest of the afternoon or at least draw, do something. I got a bunch of shit to answer for all the future things we have going on. The, uh, this is the beginning of the vlog. The 4th of Jukrai and the Happy Pride drop is still up. I don't know how long it's gonna stay up tonight. Just, it's basically gotta come down before production gets fucked up. Definitely coming down tonight, but you do still have a chance at the moment I'm recording this to get it if you go to Oh, It's Teddy. 
Everything is shipping, we're getting it all done. Mystery bags are on the way. A lot of first time customers. Addresses got done wrong. People messed up their sizes. We tried to work out everything we can and I think it's all worked out now. So everything is starting to ship. You'll see it all happening and hopefully by Friday, uh, business will be done as far as shipping anything out. So we won't have anything else happening and I'll just be working on future stuff. But funny observation from someone was that I seem like I'm in a better mood. A lot of you have said that I seem like I'm in a better mood, you know, just like I'm back to myself or whatever. And that for a while I maybe was aggressive and angry or whatever, more aggressive than usual. And um, yeah, I, you, you're absolutely right. Feel better. Everything feels better as far as like my nutrition, uh, my my mental health as far as just, even though it's been hard to let people go, move on from people and change my dynamic and my friendships, come to terms with my own, you know, like my own downfalls, like my own problems, like my, you know, my tendencies to snap or my tendencies to do this or that and things like that. Even though a lot of times I'm just being funny when I'm like, when I go on a crazy rant, I'm usually just being funny. A lot's changed, you know, it's like, the house is great. I think canceling the tour and because I didn't like trying to facilitate all that so much of it at one time and to take all that on, I think being able to take a step back and looking at everything, how it should be, could be, and just plan it out in a way that actually works. Instead of getting married to the idea that I first had. And it's just like art. When you draw something or you start to paint something, you get married to an idea, a better idea comes. Don't kind of like roll with the punches, so to speak, then you know, you might be missing out on greatness. You know, that changed, obviously the business relationship is changing but I've changed a lot of things and then one thing that also changed that was going on behind the scenes and been dealing with for years and I'm not the only one dealing with it is you know it so if you watch the Mexico vlog last year, I went to Mexico with a girl named Alex, who is by definition my ex-girlfriend, still is and was then. You know, obviously we were still friends and we still had feelings with each other and we, uh, you know, we were trying to work things out, our differences, and we really just can't, you know? It's just like what it is. We haven't really even been around each other in a while. Like we've taken like long breaks, like year long breaks, month long breaks, week breaks. We've tried not talking to each other. We've tried talking to each other. Done a little bit of everything. And at the end of the day, um, that relationship, as much as I value it, as much as I care about this person, we have history. Uh, within that history, there is a lot of damage that was done to both of us by each other. And we just we just can't do it. So uh, we've tried like everything. We tried therapy, did all kinds of shit. I mean, it's been, like, off and on. We've both seen other people. We've both been with other people. We've both you know, done all kinds of shit. Yeah, but that also like, that's also changed. She actually left to go to LA. I don't think she's gonna stay there, but she's been gone for a while. And, and I think we both realized too that we're just toxic for each other, even though one of us has been saying it to the other one that is toxic, it's toxic. It just, it gets to that point. And I'm not saying the relationship forever, like we'll never fucking speak again or anything like that. But for now, I just don't think that we need to speak. I basically have cut off like all communication. I really just like can't okay i can't continue to just like go through the same shit over and over so so that's also changed behind the scenes so if i seem and i'm not saying like oh i got rid of this girl for good everything's great i'll miss her she's a good person we have our differences we don't necessarily see the world the same way i wish her the best obviously but the stress of just trying to glue this broken vase back together all the time and like taking a break for a while and then trying to it's just over and it's just time moves on people's feelings change things move on and uh, it's also something that I don't share here I haven't ever really shared my personal part of that and that's also gonna change because I'm fucking sick and tired of not having context to my moods like some days I'm in like the worst fucking mood ever and there's no context to it people are like damn Teddy's just a dick so now I just want to give it content For, like the last year off and on two years whatever it's just been a roller coaster and finally that feedback loop has just got to be shut and um, that's just like pretty much it that's a big change everything is pretty pretty much a big change, but that's something I've been going through. Just so everybody, some people are like, I don't care. That's great too. Fast forward button has not moved. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much my day. I'm gonna fucking start working on painting stuff. We're not gonna vlog that today because tomorrow I'm pretty much gonna paint all day. Ern's got to go help finish with the bags, history bag, every get everything shipped, and I'm gonna have a little more free time to paint, work on designs and shit like that. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. That's the day. Love y'all. Peace. Nice bitch girl riding in the middle Taste a rainbow, rolling stone skittles Told off that my presence here is needed I'm going off on a trip getting scenic Near death experience the magic No feelings need freedom from
from this wax 